Mm, I hope you are all okay. Together we're going to have module 8, the first part. But what's in this module? You are going to learn about films and music, about mythical creators, about biographies of famous people, about heroes from the past, legendary cities, as well as for the lost civilization. Considering grammar, you are going to learn about was, where, had, so the past simple of the verb to be, of the auxiliary verbs, and as well as for the model can. You are going to learn the past simple of regular and irregular verbs. You are going to use them to talk about the past. You are also going to write an email, an informal email, about an event you attended. Now, let's go on with uh, the first exercise. Uh, it's the vocabulary of module 8. It's about mythical creators. And exercise number 1 says, listen and repeat what are these beasts in your language. So. Now let's go on with exercise number one. Look at the pictures, listen and repeat what are these beasts in your language. You are going to listen to the beasts and you're going to repeat them. I'm going to help with the translation. Let's go on. Hippogriff. Hippogriff. A hippogriff. Cyclops. Cyclops. Cyclopi. Dragon. Dragon. Dragoi. Unicorn. Unicorn. New Breership. Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. These are some of the mythical creators. And now, students, let's go on with exercise number two. Listen, repeat, and point two. So, you're going to listen to the words that you have in exercise number two, and you're going to point with your fingers which of the mythical creators has got these features. Let's go on. A thick mane. A thick mane. A thick mane is a cliff e trash. Pra cilën nga këto kryesa mitike ka një cliff të trash, atër është pikërisht Glyphy and Unicorn. Pra not një të mënyrë do të bëhëm edhe të tjerat. I të gjojmë si fillim. A single eye. A single eye. Pra, we have got the cyclop with a single eye. A horn. A horn. Një bri. A long tail. A long tail. Sharp claws. Sharp claws. Kthetra të mprehta, pra. A beak. A beak. Shumit sëmbrek të refjalve, ju i keni mësuar dhe tek modul pesa, ku keni bërë kafshet. Big wings. Big wings. Krah të më dha. Sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. Thëmb të mpret. Long feathers. Long feathers. Dhe pupla të gjata. Now, let's go on with the next exercise. Exercise number three. Which of the beasts look like? A horse, pra tila nga bishat, nga son me një. Horse, a huge snake, a giant, or an eagle. Pra, do të shkruani të klibrat tuaj, se cila pre kliesave nga son në kafshat që keni për bri. For example, the hippogriff looks like an eagle and an horse. Uh, you are going to make the same thing with the other mythical creators. Exercise number four. Describe the beasts. Which of them has got these features? You're going to use them in the sentences, just like the example. All these words are the words that were in exercise number two and three. Now listen to the sentence. A unicorn looks like a horse. It has got a horn, a thick mane, and a long tail. Prana të njëtër mënyrë dhëtë përmi dhe ju fjellit e tjera duke përshkruar kliesat e tjera mitike. Now, let's go on with Unit 8A Reading. Exercise number 1. Look at the pictures. Which of the creators is half human and half horse? Has got a human head, has got three heads, has got a long tail and a sharp beak. Nësi u kujtohen, këto fjalli kishit të gjitha të kë mësimi, të kë vokabulari, të kë teta. Now look at the mythical creators and try to guess which of them is half human and a half horse. For example, 
The centaur is half human and half horse, and it has got a human head. You're going to make similar sentences as this one. And now, students, let's go on with exercise number two. Read the title and the introduction. Who's Harry Potter? How are these creatures related to him? Pra Shikoim Hurian, a text it. It's something about J.K. Rowling. And J.K. Rowling is the creator of Harry Potter. She uses a lot of weird and wonderful creatures from mythology. How different are they uh, to the mythical creatures in the Harry Potter books? Pra do shkëm së bashku se si ndryshojnë këto personaje mitike nga libri i Harry Potterit. Leta do gjojmë tekstin së bashku për të kuptuar më mirë. Mythical creatures. J.K. Rowling, the creator of Harry Potter, uses a lot of weird and wonderful creatures from mythology. How different are they to the mythical creatures? In the Harry Potter books, centaurs live in forests. They are very intelligent. They study the stars and the planets and sometimes see the future. Most centaurs stay far away from people, but one of them, Firenze, saves Harry's life. He even becomes a teacher at Harry's school. The phoenix is a beautiful bird. Harry's headmaster has a pet phoenix called Forks. Tears from its eyes save Harry's life after a poisonous monster bites him. Harry is shocked when Forks suddenly bursts into flames one day. Of course, Forks is born again from the ashes. Kimerlas live near volcanoes. They are very dangerous and very difficult to kill. Centaurs were half human and half horse. They were from the mountains and forests of central Greece. They were wild, dangerous beasts, except for one, Chiron, who was an astronomer and a famous teacher of medicine. was a beautiful red or purple bird with a long golden tail. It was from India and Egypt. It could burst into flames and could be born again from the ashes. Its tears could heal someone's wounds. The chimera was a weird Greek mythical creature. It was really odd looking. It had three heads from three different animals. At the front it had a lion's head, in the middle it had a goat's head, and its tail was a snake. It was a terrifying creature. It could bite like a lion, and it could breathe fire like a dragon from its goat's head. Let's go on with the new vocabulary that you had in this text. Please listen and repeat the words that appear on the screen. Weird. 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 It's a ditchon. Mythology. And now, students, let's go on with exercise. They burst into the flames one day. Of course, Forks is born again from the ashes. Chimerlas live near volcanoes. They are very dangerous and very difficult to kill. Centaurs were half human and half horse. They were from the mountains and forests of central Greece. They were wild, dangerous beasts, except for one, Chiron, who was an astronomer and a famous teacher of medicine. The phoenix was a beautiful red or purple bird with a long golden tail. 
It was from India and Egypt. It could burst into flames and could be born again from the ashes. Its tears could heal someone's wounds. Chimera was a weird Greek mythical creature. It was really odd looking. It had three heads from three different animals. At the front it had a lion's head, in the middle it had a goat's head, and its tail was a snake. It was a terrifying creature. It could bite like a lion, and it could breathe fire like a dragon from its goat's head. <laughs> Let's go on with the new vocabulary that you had in this text. Please listen and repeat the words that appear on the screen. Weird. 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 It's a ditchum. Mythology. Mythology. Mythology, Abra. Mythical creature. Mythical creature. Creation mythica. Publica ni da spiegime na fialda. Forest. Forest. Fool. Intelligent. Intelligent. Tear. 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 Lotot. Poisonous monster. Poisonous monster. Probinda spiegime. Volcano. Medicine. Medicine. Ilat. Burst. 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 Spursan. Ash. Ash. Ash heal. 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 Heal to that shroy. Wound. Wound. Wound as new plug. Bite. Bite. Cuff shroy. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe as the marfrun. The fire is here. Breathe cada cup time in the air fluman. Pramar than the air flume. Okay, now let's go on with exercise number three. Read the text and mark the sentences as true as false or false. Prado to let's only personally text in. The map pass of bonus stream in tre duke ver duke even though Sophia live anas t ose th prever tet ose gabor. For example, the first one centaurs had two heads. We are going to check that this sentence is false because they had only one head. Now let's go on with exercise number six. Types of films. Tell me, do you like films? Which is your favorite type of film? What kind of films do you like? Actually, we have a group of types of films here. We are going to have a look at them together. We have got here action, pra film action, animated cartoon, film ad visati more, comedy, comedit, historical, film ad historic, horror, film ad horror, musical, film ad na musik, musikor, musikal, adventure, film ad aventur, romance, film ad romantik, detective, film ad politesk, western, film ad na cowboy, science fiction, Filma fantastico scansor and fantasy filma me fantasy. You have also got here a group of films. You are going to match the films with their type, with the type of film. For example, number one goes with L, which is um, fantasy and it is made a sentence the dragon is a fantasy film you are going to make the same thing with the other films so we're going to match the titles to their type and you're going to make sentences just like the example let's go on with exercise number seven agreeing and disagreeing do you like action films? Yes, I love them. So do I. They're exciting. How about musicals? I don't like musicals. Neither do I. They're boring. I don't like horror films. Really? I do. I like westerns. Really? I don't. 
Tani le të shikojmë së bashku kuptimi në fjallëve me një zhurë të kuqe. Ok, so when you agree with someone, we use so do I the neither do I. So do I edhe un. When the sentence is affirmative, we use so do I. For example, I like action films. So do I. Un i pëlqej filmat aksion edhe un. Neither do I. As un. When the sentence is negative, we use neither do I. As un. For example, I don't like comedies, neither do I. Un nuk i pëlqej komedit as un. Uh, when we disagree with someone, we use really, I do. Pra kur ne nuk bijem dakord me dikë, ne përdorim vërtet, un po. For example, when the sentence is negative, I don't like western films. Really, I do. Un nuk i pëlqej filmat, përëndimo, filmat më cowboy, vërtet, un po. Uh, më pas kemi really, I don't, vërtet, un jo, when the sentence is affirmative, mi e përdorim një fjeli dëftore. For example, I like romances, really, I don't. Un i pëlqej romantat, vërtet, un jo. Atër, po të vëmë rete këpjesa e dytë këtu, kur kemi një fjali negative, folia ndim se du është në dëftore në pozitive. Kurse kur fjalia është në pozitive, si që është vrasti I like romances, folia ndim se bëhet don't. Now let's go on with exercise number 8. Use the words to talk about the films below. Before talking about these films, let's have a look at this group of adjectives that we have here. We have here boring, immersion, që mund që koni dhe të emojit, interesting, interesant, sad, i trishtueshëm, funny, qesharak, frightening, i friksham, and exciting, emocionues. We have got here these films, it's, they are the same that were in exercise number 6. Uh, and we have got an example here, the dragon. Okay, let's listen to it. The dragon was on TV last night. Really? What was it like? It was exciting. Pra në të njëtë mënyrë, si që është bërë këtë dialog, do të bëndi dhe ju dialog të njashëm, duke përdorur emi në filmit, pra The Dragon, was on TV last night, for example. Personi tjetër thot, really, what was it like? For that, si ishte, it was exciting, pra do të përdorni njërën nga mbi emra që keni përbrim. Now let's go on with exercise number 9. What are you going to do here? You are going to prepare a short presentation of other mythical creators and you can use the key phrase, you can browse in your internet and you can write down their mythical creators, kryesat mitike, dhe do t'ju shfaqen në informacionet të ndryshme. Mund të zhidhni një prej kryesave dhe të përgatisni një prezentim duke u bazuar, duke përdojnë si model pra përshkrimi. Now let's go on with the grammar unit 8b. We are going to learn today how to use correctly the past simple of uh, the verb to be, of um, the verb have, as well as of the model can. You are going to make some sentences talking about the past and you are going to talk about past abilities. Let's start first with the past simple of the verb to be, which is exercise number one. We have got a table here. Before completing the table, we are going to have a look at grammar. So, we have got here the verb to be, how we conjugate the verb to be, prasiezi dhe në folien to be in affirmative, in negative and interrogative form. We have got I was, you were, he, she, it was, we, you, they were. Then we have I, the long form of negative, I was not, you were not, he, she, it was not. Or the plural, we, you, they, were not. The short form is wasn't or weren't. How do we make the interrogative sentences? Prasi, bëjm fjalit në pjetësore. We use this verb to be, the past simple of the verb to be, pra përdorim was as a were, before the subject, për para kër e fjallës. Was I, were you, was he, she, it, were we, you, they, etc. 
Then we have the short answers, which is yes, I, he, she, it was, or no, I, he, she, it wasn't. And uh, we have yes for the plural, we, you, they, were, no, no, we, you, they, weren't. The past simple of the verb to be is was or were. We use was, pra për dojnë thelën was, për njësin, që do t'ishtë e vetëm për vetat I, he, she, ose it, ose për nëmri njës, dhe we use were with we, you, and they. We have got here an example. Neil Armstrong was an astronaut. And now let's go on with uh, our... Um, exercise here in exercise number one so uh, as we said we use was and wasn't for singular press each time was the wasn't the kemi pronominius where and where and the kemi pronominius now you're going to complete this table with this um, verb uh, I was late affirmative pra I was late you were late he she uh, was late it persori singular persori was late you are going to make the same thing with the other uh, spaces with us you are plural so we're going to use where exercise number two complete with was or where pra do të plotson e vëndet bosh me was ose where në fjallit më posht kini kujdes, do shikoni shumë mirë kër e fjallën nëse kër e fjallën e kemi numri njëjes sigurisht që do të përdorim was nëse kër e fjallën e kemi numri shumë si që është në rastin në fjallit së dytë që është Helen and Tony you are going to use where for example Jane was at the cinema last Sunday. Helen and Tony, që është një fjalli me kure fjallën në më shumës, do t'ishte were at school yesterday. Let's go on with exercise number three. Write sentences as in the example use wasn't or weren't. Pra do t'shkrua një fjalli si pas shumbli duke përdor wasn't ose weren't. Të një të një gjë, do të sugjeroja edhe kjo ushtrimi i tretë pra, do shikoni me shumë kujdes, kërë e fjallën, nëse kërë e fjallën është numëri njëjës, do të përdorim wasn't, nëse kërë e fjallën e kemi numëri shumës, do të përdorim weren't. For example, Sam is singular, pra është numëri njëjës, not be at home last Sunday, dhe fjallëja, dhe folja not be pra është bërë wasn't, dhe fjallëja është plëcuar me Sam wasn't at home last Sunday. Të një të një gjë, do të bëni edhe ju me fjellit e tjera. Then you have exercise number four, complete with was or where again, then answer the questions. Keni pyetjet këtu, kujdes, në bani mund si than, të këpyetjet, në vendosim gjithë mund was ose where për para kërë e fjallës. Kur kemi një kërë e fjallën nëmër njës, dhe të përdorim was, dhe kur kërë e fjallën e kemi nëmër shumës, dhe të përdorim where. Atëherë shikojmë duke bërë ushtrimin, duke parë edhe tabelon që kemi për brim. The first one is already done for you, pra e parë është bërë. Was Gjulli at the zoo last Monday? A ishte Gjulli në kopshtën zoologjik të hënën e kaluar? No, she wasn't, pra jo, a jo nuk ishte. Sepse po të shikojmë në Gjulli, ditë në hënë, Gjulli ka qenë në shtëpi të njëtën në gjë, do të bëni dhe ju me pyetjet e tjera. Kujdes, këtë dyshi kemi Peter and John, or Peter and John. Peter and John is plural, so you're going to use where. Now, where Peter and John at the gym last Monday? A ishin Peter and John në palestër të hënën e kaluar? Show him Peter and John, e hëna, dita e hën, Monday, it's a gym, të këtë gjonë është përsëri gjim, pra përgjigja që në ka pozitive dhe do t'ishte yes they were. Të një të njëtë të bëni edhe me fjelit e tjera. Exercise number five, talking about the past. Find out about your partner. Unfortunately, you can do this with your friends, but you can make the questions just like the example. Have a look at it, please. Were you at the park yesterday morning? Yes, I was. Pra ju mund të bëmi disa pyetje duke filluar me where you dhe dhe të përdoni njërën nga i det që keni të kutia e dytë më pas rethanojnë e kohës duke përdoni njërën nga frazat të kutia e parë. Për gjithet mund tjenë pozitive yes I was ose no I wasn't. Let's go on with exercise number 
pronunciation strong and weak forms. Read the table, then listen and repeat. Which forms contain a strong form or a weak form? Ater sifilim i de join. Sile tohen. Fialot. Was. 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 Pra i lutem de joni dhe përserisnim. Were. Were. Pra këtu ishte një form e but. Was. Was. Were. Were. Ok, dhe kemi edhe strong forms dhe format që janë më të forta që janë me. Was. Was. Dhe këtu e kemi. Were. Atëherë, i dëgjojmë fjallit dhe vendosim së bashku nësë është një form e fort, apo është e but. John was at school yesterday. John was at school yesterday. Pra këtu kemi was, pra një weak form. Was the film good? Pra shikojmë pak në fjallin të fëtore, e kishim weak form. Shikojmë pak këtu kemi një fjallit pyce, e dëgjojmë dhe njëherë. Was the film good? Atëherë në fjallin pyce, Fjalla was, qenka e fort, pra le dhojt was. Let's go on. The books were on the floor. The books were on the floor. Atër, kemi një fjalli dëftore dhe të shohim se si është folja atër qenka weak form. E shohim në fjallin pyetse. Were they at the gym? Were they at the gym? Atëse, atëherë vëmre që e kemi të fort. Pra, që farë vëmre të këfjalit të fëtore, kemi was and were, pra i kemi në format të buta, ndërsa në fjalit pyetësore, e kishim në një format të fort, pra bëj was edhe were. Ju mund të praktikoni ledzimin e tyre në shtëpi gjithashtu. As we said at the beginning, we are going to have the past simple of the verb have today which is had before going on with grammar let's have a look at these sentences listen please did matthew have long hair at the age of five no he didn't he had short fair hair pra këtu kemi një pyetje e cila na ka filluar me did dhe folia bas që nga bër have dhe të këpërgjia kemi no he didn't Pra kemi formë negative këtu, didn't, dhe kemi një fjallit të fëtore, he had short fair hair. Kemi fjallën had. Le të qikojmë së bashku tani se cili është përdorimi modales i më falli i folies have. Exercise number 7 says, read the table, how do we form the negative and interrogative form of had? Si që thame dhe në filim, fjalla had, folje had, është forma ose koha e shkuar e folies have. Atër, shohim fjallim të fëtore. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, had. Pra, si që vëmre, folja had nuk ka ndryshuar, sepse foljet në kohën e shkuar nuk ndryshojnë në veta të ndryshme. Pra, i kemi njësoj, nga veta par dhe në vetë në tretë, si për nëmër njëjës edhe për nëmër shumës. Le që kojmë forma negative. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they didn't have. Pra, shikojmë pak forma negative. Nuk është bërë hadn't, si që ishte wasn't, por bëhet didn't, me folje ndim se did, që bëhet në formë në shkurtuar me në të, pra didn't, dhe folja have përdoret në formë në saj bazë. Shohim pyetjen, did I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they have, pra për sëri është e njëta i gjë, për para kërë e fjallës kemi të vendosur folje në dim se did dhe folja baz, folja have është këthyrë në formën e saj baz. Si i përgjigjemi shkurt, kujdes, yes, I, you, he, etc. did, ose no, I, you, he, etc. didn't. Pra kujdes, me did dhe me didn't dhe jo me had apo me hadn't. Këtu kemi dhe të detajuar, pra të zgjedhuar folien had, në të gjitha vetat dhe në numër njës dhe në numër shumës. 
Okay, the podolimen, prahed, is the past simple of the verb have got. It is the same in all persons, in the singular and plural. Pra folia had, është koha shkuar folias have got, ajo është njëjt, në të gjitha vetat, pra edhe nëmë njëjt dhe nëmë shumës. We form questions with did plus subject plus have, pra si që pamë dhe të kushtrimi nëmë shtat, pra kur bëjmë pyeti, i fillim e did, gjithë kohë si kemi folian have. For example, did Susan have a pet when she was young? Yes, she did. Then we have the negative form. We form negations with did not or didn't here, plus have. Uh, Michael did not or didn't have a computer when he was young. Be careful, we do not use got in the past simple. Pra, edhe pse kuptimi është njëjt me folien have got, uh, Folian got nuk e përdorim në kohën e shkuar. For example, he had a computer and not he had got a computer. Uh, we have got an example here as well. Did Anne have long dark hair at the age of six? No, she didn't. Or yeah, uh, she had long, fair, uh, straight hair. Now, let's go on with um, exercise number eight. Uh, we have got a picture here. The picture shows a kitchen from Victorian times in England. Pra këtu kemi një fotografi të një guzhine nga koha viktoriane në Angli. Complete the sentences with had or didn't have. Pra duke par figuren, duke plëcuar fjalit. Mbanimant, jemi në vitet 1800. Pra be careful. Uh, people have or didn't, uh, sorry, had or didn't have vacuum cleaners. Dhe fjallia do t'ishtë sigurisht me didn't have, sepse uh, fshesa me korend dhe zbuluar me më vonë. Pra, shikon i figurën dhe plëtson e pra vëndit bosh me had ose didn't have. Now, let's go on with exercise number 9. We, you, uh, what did or didn't your partner have at the age of 5? Use the phrases to find out. Unfortunately, you can't use your friends, but you can use your brothers or sisters uh, who are older than you. For example, did you have long hair at the age of five? Pra kini kujdes, i vini kushtam njërën të si më njërës e si është bërë pyetja, pyetja një fillem e did you dhe më pas përdorim have. Dhe përgjigja mund tjetë, yes I did, ose no I didn't. Pra në të njëtë më njërë dhe të bëni dhe pyetja të tjera. Did you have long hair at the age of five? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Exercise number 10. We have got here cold. Shohim se bashku fjalit. Edi gjojm. Could Peter swim at the age of 11? Yes, he could. But he couldn't ski. Ater, si që vëmre, fjala cold është koha e shkuar e modales kem. A munde i Piteri të bënd të not në moshën 11 djecara? Po a i munde, por a i nuk mund të bënd të ski. Pra qëfar na tregon folja kud, modalja kud? Modalja kud këtu na tregon uh, një aftësi që ka patu një person në kohën e shkuar. Shikojmë pak zjedhimin. Uh, affirmative, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, etc. could sing. The negative, but për të gjitha vetat, couldn't, ose couldn't, could not sing. Dhe shohim pak pjecorin me kujdes. Could I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they sing? Pra si që vëmre, uh, modalja could e vendosu për para ku e fjallës. Për gjithet shkurt, mund të jem, yes, I, you, he, she, it, we, they could. No, I, you, he, she, it, we, they couldn't. What is could? Could is the past simple of can. Pra fjala could është koha shkuar e mpolje s'ken, modale s'ken. Could do të thot was able to. Pra could do të thot ishte ose ishte e, e aftë të. Is the same in all persons, in the plural and in the singular. Pra është e njëjt në të gjitha vetat dhe në, të, dhe në numër njës dhe në numër shumës. We use could to express general ability and couldn't to express lack of ability in the past. Pra ne përdojnë fjallën could për të shprehur aftësi dhe couldn't për të, për të shprehur munges të aftësis në të shkuaran. For example, Mark could play the piano at the age of seven. Mark pra mund të luante në piano në moshën 7 vjeqare. 
para he was able to uh, he had the ability to, ability to para isto e after to aí é que isto é que to after sim but he couldn't drive a car aí não montam isto é máquina he didn't have the ability para aí não é que isto é que to after sim now let's go on with exercise number 11 complete with could or couldn't you have got here some cross and some ticks which means that when we have a cross the sentence should be negative and when you have a tick the sentence should be positive with could pra kemi disa x disa x ve grepce kur kemi x ke fjalia do të thot që do të vendosim couldn't sepse fjali personi nuk ka qenë ose persona nuk kanë qenë ta aft ta bëjnë veprimin në të shkuarën dhe nëse e kemi me grepce do të thot që personat kanë qenë të aft ta bëjnë veprimin dhe do të përdojnë could let's see the first example together pra e shohim bashkët e parën Rick couldn't read at the age of six. Pra Rick nuk mund të ledonte në moshën gjerë djeqare. Në të njëtën mënyrë, do të bënje dhe fjallit e tjera that. Exercise number 12. Talking about past abilities, të flasim për after si që kemi patur në të shkuarën. What could or couldn't your partner do at the age of seven? Use phrases to find out. You can write these questions following the example. Let's listen to it together. Could you speak English at the age of seven? Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. Pra ju do bënë një fjallit të tila të njashme për të pyetur, për të zbuluar dikë se qëfar ka qeni aftë ose qëfar nuk ka qeni aftë bëjnë në moshën në shtëtë djeqare. Kini parasysh që kur bëjmë pyetje në fjalli pyetësare, pra ku bëjmë pyetje duke përdoru kud, fjalli a ku fjalla kud vendë ose gjithmonë, për para ku e fjallës, më pas kemi ku e fjallë dhe më pas folien buzz. Let's go on with exercise number 13, the last exercise. Complete the sentences about yourselves. Plecojnë i këto fjalli që të jenë të vërteta për vedhen të uaj. When I was 7 years old, I had, pra kur unë isha 7 vjecë, unë kemi këtu folien had, ju kujtojt pra folia had, është koha e shkuar e folies have got, pra unë kisha, I didn't have, unë nuk kisha, I could, unë mund, dhe të plëconi vëndet të bosh me një veprim që mund të bënit, dhe I couldn't të të plëconi vëndet të bosh me një veprim që nuk mund të bënit kur ishtit 7 vjecë. My favorite toy was, pra lodra ime e preferuar ishte, My favorite food was and my favorite things were Gjëra e të mjatë preferuara ishin dhe do të liston një disa për gjëra e të preferuara I hope you enjoyed this hour